Hi, my name is Dylan and in this video I'm testing out the Keyshot Render Gozi plugin for ZBrush. Now what this plugin does is allows for the sending of any or all subtools from ZBrush over to Keyshot to be rendered, even if the subtools don't have any UVs. Any poly painting on the subtools also gets sent over to Keyshot to be rendered. Now the model I have in this scene here has approximately a dozen subtools and some of them are fibre mesh. Total polygon count is approximately 3 million. The plugin drops the subtools to the lowest subdivision so what I'm doing here is I'm setting them all to the highest subdivision level and deleting the lower levels. Or you could easily just freeze subdivision levels. By the way, I live in Ireland and if my accent is a bit difficult for some of you to understand, well, <laughs> that's kind of tough luck. But I'd be happy to answer any questions if you want to post them on the page where the YouTube video will be hosted. About half of the subtools here are fibre mesh, so it's a fairly dense piece of geometry I'm sending over to Keyshot. If I click on the Go Z button, it'll send selected subtools over to Keyshot, but here I want to send them all, so I'm clicking the All button. Now the boring part. Wait, wait, wait. This usually happens fairly quickly but my screen recording software is slowing things down and it's taking a little longer than usual. Key shot will open now in a few seconds and there we go. Our object with all the subtools has now been imported. Now in this palette you can see all the subtools and I'm going to click on the body subtool to select the material. The reason the object looks shiny here is because the beta version of the plugin brings it in and applies the advanced material so what I'm going to do here is change it over to diffuse now I can just sit back and wait for this to render in Keyshot the longer you wait the clearer and less noisy the render becomes there are tons of materials to choose from in Keyshot and you can download a trial version from Luxion.com and try it out for yourself. Each time you move the object in your scene, the render starts again. You can drag and drop lighting environments or back plates from the Keyshot library or import your own. At this moment in time, coming up to midnight on November 18th, 2013, this plugin is still in beta testing. The full version should be available by the end of this year. change the background colour the great thing about Keyshot is it's so simple to use and you can get really good renders with very little effort
great function of this plugin is that the poly painting and geometry can be changed in ZBrush and the changes go Z straight over to Keyshot. in ZBrush where I will add a little bit of colour onto this model draw out a little alpha onto his chest and invert the mask fill with colour that green will do just clear the mask and now I will just goes the, the individual subtool, the body subtool, over to Keyshot. Now I'll play the waiting game again. Keyshot has updated the body with our little bit of colour. This time I'll make some changes to the geometry. Back in ZBrush now I'll just pull the chin down a little bit and maybe the nose too. Just tweak them down a little bit. Once again I will go Z just the, the subtool of the body over the key shot and just wait and hope it doesn't crash. Oh maybe I shouldn't have said that. The kiss of death surely. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. The last bit of the video. Yep, it worked. Now just watch the face, just watch his chin here as it updates in Keyshot. And there you have it. Slán August Gurumila Mahagwiv. Goodbye and thank you all very much.